Hey, this is Remy coming at you for Secure Mindset. Today, a bit of a morbid topic. Morbid topic, sadly. The one that is necessary. Because it's important to give your family some rest and closure if you're not able to get found, self-rescue, where you're lost or missing. That's why it's important for you, for, for anybody that goes out in the wild, to carry a set of these, dog tags, or any metal name pl uh, plate that stays with you. I carry two, you don't have to, but it's used for us. So when you are deceased, to help you, help the family, your family, give some closure carry a set of dog tags with them. So what should be on those dog tags? Very simply, starting on the first line, it's the most important one to me, in my opinion, non-combatant. Why is that? Because you don't, if you're not in the military, in any circumstances, you don't want to be identified as military. Good. And you don't want to be LARPing around uniform professions, or anybody that identifies you as military, you're going to be treated like that, very likely. So put non-combatant, search and rescue, civilian, anything on there that is able to help you identify as not military, very important. Then after that, put your name. Mine is Robin. Put it on there, full name, if possible. So mine, I uh, placed a extra dot in there for my middle name, as that's common here in the Netherlands. Now after that, put your social security number. Yes, morbid, you're becoming a statistic. Who cares? In the end, your family cares. After that, my advice is to provide you with some kind of blood type in there. If you don't have a blood type, you don't know it, you have a blood type, you don't, don't know it, go out and you're a doctor and ask if they can draw some blood from you. They'll be pleased to do it and ask for your blood type. Once you have that done, then you'll want to put your nationality. Well, that might be a one to think about because some people in some countries get targeted by the nationality and if you're that kind of an adventurous guy who goes out to those kinds of places, not a good idea to put it in there. But gives them to something else, maybe a phone number to call. In case of help, call dot, 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 dot. Then we have something other that is very important to identify you or at least possibly find your whereabouts because people that are lost for some reason tend to lose stuff they often very lose clothing or shoes or anything else so it's very important to mark your stuff as yours so put your name tag in there you can buy these clothing name tags put on your full name your full your first and your last name Saw them in your clothing, maybe in your neck or at the top of your, your shirt here or something like that. Because if you lose those clothing, those clothing pieces, it makes us easier to identify where you have last been. And it just makes establish where your last whereabouts were. Because as much as in SAR we like to look for you, in my opinion, we look for clues first. In SAR, we look for clues that we can track down and find and point towards your possibly whereabouts. All right? So, with those things, stay safe in the wild, enjoy yourself, carry the right gear before you get out in the wild, and practice and train. All right? 
Don't be unexperienced when you go out in the wild. Protect yourself. Stay safe. Solving for skill mindset protection, rescue and life self. And in this case, don't think for your protection. So think before you go out there. Go now.